Um, so for, probably for Dr. Reich, uh, Ted Egan is San Francisco's chief economist. He issued a report a few weeks ago saying that he projected that there would be a little bit more than 15,000 fewer jobs created due to this minimum wage increase. Uh, you presented <coughs> that uh, you found that there would be uh, little to no impact in terms of uh, job creation. Can you account for this difference? Sure. We have a very uh, long section toward the end of the report that goes exactly into into this, into, into some detail. And uh, I, I would say that the discrepancies are for two reasons. One is that the model that the city uses, it's a common model, a regional economic modeling right, incorporated Remy model, it is biased to finding negative effects. they have been found in states all over the country by other people. And I've had a uh, email correspondence with the CEO of Remy, and it was confirmed what, what I thought was the case. It's a, it's a good model for other uses. If the minimum wage use, it needs to be calibrated very differently. And, and the San Francisco um, didn't do that, didn't know to do that. The other and probably more important reason is that uh, Ted Egan's office came up with a, an estimate of how much wages would increase, average wages, in the most affected uh, industries using uh, a, mo a kind of very ad hoc model. I've never seen it before. And using data from all over the state back to 1990. And in fact, the data are available for seeing how much wage increases there would be from the same studies, uh, the uh, same data sets rather than we drew on, American Community Survey in particular, or the Bureau of the Census, the current population survey. And those have also been used with other, in other places uh, by Rem people using the Remy model. And our calculation is that average wage increases would be as little as one-fifth to one-tenth of, of what the <coughs> Office of Economic Analysis came up with. And we're, so we're using data on actual San Francisco workers to come up with this. It's not, you know, and the, and the sample sizes are big enough to do this and so forth. So we're very confident about our, our, our numbers. And that'll, you know, that, that probably counts for most of the increase in the model. Flaws in the model count for the rest. <laughs>